Hey guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest channel and podcast. If you have not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are on the podcast platform, you can do so for more content to come, as well as on the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and the like button while you're at it. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. Let's just go ahead and brighten up the place. Let's get into this conversation because we've previously discussed Siobhan, f- formerly fun, formerly Wade, but Siobhan Funches, who was Dwayne Wade's ex-wife, mother of his children besides the newest child that he had with his current wife, Gabrielle Union. And this story is one, to be honest, that I feel is all on Dwayne Wade, okay? Because... He is the bigger name, he is the bigger money, and he definitely got the long end of the stick and Siobhan got the short end of it because of who he was, what he was allowed to be able to do in terms of money, longer money got him the larger preference in the court of law, flat out. When it comes to him getting custody of his children, We don't know the ins and outs and the dailies when it comes to Siobhan and her having to deal with this man that allegedly married the side chick. Let's just put it out there because it was alleged by Siobhan that he was already having an affair with Gabrielle prior to him filing for divorce from her. And it wasn't something that she wanted. So... I'm not saying that she's holding a grudge against that, but I see Gabrielle and Dwayne, and when they're on red carpets, you rarely see the other children. Now you're seeing the little girl a little bit more, but it's usually Gabrielle, Dwayne, and the child that goes by Zaya now, and dressed very provocatively, might I add. Okay, you're saying that the the child identifies as female now and you want to support that Dwayne and Gabrielle. But at the end of it all, she's still a little girl. And it gives me the thought that I believe Siobhan over Dwayne Wade when it comes to this situation because when she filed the court docs, it wasn't just about the gender of the child. It was also about the exploitation Because this child is under the age of 18 years old. And quite frankly, we didn't need to know any of this. But because they chose to make this a public situation, and in my opinion, a public spectacle, it allowed people in favor of and against to have a lot of loud opinions about the situation. And for those who are for it, that also want to capitalize off of it, they want to make the child the face of their brand because it's going to bring in the dollars. So for people that wanted to say, well, why would Dwayne and Gabrielle use the child for money? They don't need money. Do you not think that people that have a lot of money want don't want more of it? Of course. The rich get richer, right? So why would they turn down a dollar? And they are exploiting the child because they allow this child to be on red carpets, to be photographed, to be on social media. They have allowed the child to be the face of Tiffany and some other different things that marketing campaigns that have been surrounded around this child. And for people who want to just flat out be against Siobhan, the birth mother, and just make it about, oh, well, she's a Christian, so she's just against it. And she doesn't like homosexuality or she doesn't like transsexuality or whatever, you know, um, whatever they want to try to just make it about religion and her religious beliefs versus forgetting the fact that this is this child's mother and people treat this situation as if this is the child of Gabrielle and Dwayne Wade. So he's firing back at Siobhan And this comes from the Sandra Rose blog. It says, Dwayne Wade filed a response to ex-wife 
blocking his request to change the child's name and gender on a new birth certificate. In her petition, Siobhan Funches Wade accused Dwayne Wade of exploiting 15-year-old Zaya Wade for financial gain. According to new legal documents obtained by The Blast, the retired NBA player claims Funches Wade is not thinking about what's in the best interests of their child. Wade explained the original petition to change Zaya's name and gender was done at Zaya's request. Wade said the petition is not about Siobhan or Dwayne or their prior marriage. It is about what Zaya wants and what is in her best interest. He added the petition is about empowering Zaya to live her truth, allowing Zaya to take on the milestones of being a young adult with confidence and joy, and to ensure that those moments are not clouded by the self-doubt that comes from checking a box or signing a name that does not reflect her identity. Wade asked the court to affirm Zaya's identity to live more comfortably and honesty in all aspects of their life, from simple introductions and food orders to applying for a driver's license and filling out college applications. The former Miami Heat player said Zaya should not be forced to put her life on hold while she waits for Siobhan to acknowledge and accept her truth. Zaya was born a boy named Zion and came out as transgender in 2019. Funches Wade and Wade were high school sweethearts. They were wed in 2002 and split five years later. Their bitter divorce was finalized in 2010. They share Zaya, a 20 and 20 year old son, Zaire. Wade began dating actress Gabrielle Union in 2008 amid his bitter divorce from Funches Wade. Wade and Union married on August 30th, 2014 in Miami and share a daughter named Kavia. And Wade also fathered another son with close friend Aja Matoyer. And Gabrielle Union claimed the groupie was impregnated during a break in their relationship. The term break baby trended on Twitter. And that's from the story from Sandra Rose's blog. Okay, I have to say this. I just, I, I, we don't know what the courts are going to rule because a lot of times in these situations, especially when it came to the divorce and the child custody situation, they favor the one who has the most prominence, the most money, and the most influence. And it definitely is clear that Dwayne Wade is using his money and the media for his benefit and favor. But with the rules that have been coming down and laws that are being passed and governors of different states that are calling for different things when it comes to children and their rights to call themselves this or call themselves that if they don't feel like they were born to be a boy and they want to identify as a female and all that other stuff that to be honest I really don't understand and I'm not going to go into all of that I don't know how the courts are going to rule but I do believe that it isn't fair for this mother to be cut out of the decisions when it comes to their child just simply because she was not awarded custody by the courts because just because the courts did not give her custody doesn't mean that she was not a capable and well fit mother. I do believe that his money and influence had a lot to do with that. I just simply do because he had so many things that was put in place to shut her up and shut her down that she never got the opportunity to share her story. She had a gag order placed on her and just so many other things that were not in her benefit that it kind of took away her rights. And she probably went through a lot of depression going through a situation like that because I couldn't imagine what it would be like to be a mother, which I am, and have the child or children that I gave birth to because I was in a relationship with a jackass who really could give a crap about me and wanted to so-called upgrade to another person that was in the industry and was more fitting of his status and stature as a multi-million dollar basketball star player that the courts would say that I don't have the right to keep full custody of my children. And, and this man has the ability to overrule me in situations. I don't believe that that is right. 
And I do believe that the media does not acknowledge her and they more so acknowledge Gabrielle as this child's mother when Gabrielle is the stepmother. And I've done a previous conversation talking about that. I may put a clip to or a link to that video in the description where I discussed that some time ago because it really bothered me and it still bothers me to this day that it is as if Siobhan doesn't matter and doesn't exist simply because one, the courts did not grant her full custody and she doesn't have the money and the status that Dwayne has. And we do live in a, let's just be honest, the the media is more liberal in terms of things like that. So they are going to be more on the side of Dwayne Wade rooting for their child wanting to identify as female that was born a male. And hey, if that's what you want to do and and it works, I guess, but it's also about the exploitation. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about that because again, I reiterate, when you see them out, you primarily see Gabrielle, Dwayne Wade, and the child dressed like a female. To me, it looks like exploitation. I'm just being honest because they have worked on getting this child to be spot, the, the face of different products. And I just, I just believe that these companies are exploiting the child for the sake of sales and Dwayne and Gabrielle are benefiting from it because in that industry that Gabrielle and now Dwayne Wade is a part of, which is the Hollywood industry, it's more favorable monetary wise if you are for it versus being against it. And so it would benefit him to make it seem as if the mother is against the child being free in identifying how the child chooses to identify so that the child can live in their truth and all that other stuff. When I do believe that the majority of it for Siobhan is not just about the gender identification, but it's also about the exploitation. And he's not talking about that. He's just trying to make it out as if he and the child are a victim of this self-righteous Christian who doesn't believe in this child's way of life and wanting to live in her truth and all that other stuff. So, you know, he's, he's trying to make it out to be as if Siobhan is just this, um, you know, Bible beater who could care less about the child's feelings. I do believe that this mother wants their child to be protected and not to be in a place where, to be quite honest, it's not 100% okay for this child to be out the way that it has been pushed out there because if they're having to turn comments off on their child's Instagram posts or limit comments and things like that, I'm not saying that ignorance of people who leave nasty and mean and negative comments should be allowed, but maybe you shouldn't have your child put out there like that. I do believe that they're putting a the child on display. I do believe they are exploiting and I do believe that they have the money and the media in their favor. And so they're trying to work it out in the court of public opinion and hoping that the courts will rule the same way. But in this situation, it may not turn out to be that way. I don't know what's going to happen, but all we can do is wait and see. But as a mother and as one who was, of course, just on the outside looking in and saw some of the interviews that she did when she was going through the divorce prior to the divorce being finalized of how she was treated by Dwayne Wade and just a number of different things that transpired to just make her look like she was just this Looney Tune crazy chick that was not a good parent and not a good wife. He portrayed her to be that way and she and her mom were nothing but supportive of this man and he was just trash just being beautifully honest. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. And until the next time, this is Beth and I'm just being beautifully honest.